Thank you, Anne. Welcome to the Los Angeles premiere of An American Story, Norman Mineta and His Legacy. We're so happy this day has finally come. First, let me start with appreciation to Secretary Norman Mineta for saying yes. To Denny and Norm, thank you for allowing Diane Fukami and me to become what now must seem to you like permanent fixtures in your lives. You have been so gracious allowing us into your lives and family. Thank you so much for entrusting us. As you can imagine, it's been a long journey to get here today. We are grateful to the hundreds of donors, community partners, the Mineta production team, and so many more who are represented in the audience today. From the very beginning, we knew we wanted to produce a documentary on the life and contributions of Norman Mineta. We also knew that a film has limited shop life, and an educational curriculum in high school and college classrooms would expand the reach across the country and for many years to come. That led us to Stanford University and the SPICE program, developers of our educational curriculum. Today's screening is also part of a much larger plan. Before the national TV broadcast in spring 2019, we wanted the community to be able to experience the breadth of Norm's life and contributions, which <coughs> led us to the idea of community screenings and enrolling over 70 nonprofit partners. It all really circles back to Norm Anetta a man who used his visibility and influence to bring people together and who has never forgotten his roots. Through the generosity of our donors, this vision has been realized. Dr. Paul and Hisako Terasaki expressed early confidence in our endeavor and gave a pivotal <coughs> boost that literally transformed our fundraising as the project's title sponsor. It created momentum and we realized we were well on our way. We are so appreciative of their generosity. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Keith Terasaki, Chair of the Terasaki Family Foundation. see everyone here uh, on behalf of the Terasaki Family Foundation. I would like to say that we're very honored to help sponsor this film on the accomplishments of Norman Mineta. Uh, leading a public life is very difficult. Our community has been very fortunate to have a few people like Speaker Mineta to step up over the years and speak out for us. Secretary Mineta has devoted his entire life to this endeavor and has been very effective. It's really amazing how far he got and what he accomplished. Hopefully, after you've uh, watched this movie, you will learn what Norm had to go through as he was growing up and the different challenges he had to face in his life. And maybe you'll realize that this movie really should be one of the new releases of the Mission Impossible series. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you all enjoy the movie and take something valuable away from it. Thank you. Thank you, Key. We were further supported by the generosity of the Sachiko Kuno Foundation in our final phase of film production. The Toshi Toshizo Watanabe Foundation provided the most important final bookend to complete our production this year. Please help me also recognize Tom and Demi Watanabe who are in the house today for their generosity. We are very grateful to the sponsors of this Los Angeles premiere. AARP was the very first funder in 2014. AARP continues to support us as a major sponsor of premier events in Los Angeles and Washington. MUFG Union Bank was also an earlier supporter and again stepped up to support today's premiere. 
Their generosity enabled us to offer this screening to you free of charge. Let's appreciate their generous support. All donors, legacy partners, and supporters are listed in your programs that you received today, and we want to thank you all. In 1994, then Congressman Norman Mineta founded the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus to provide greater access, a voice addressing the needs of the nation's growing API community. Today with us we have a special guest. Please welcome Chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus, Congresswoman Judy Chu. to be here at the premiere of this film on a legend in our community, Norman Mineta. You know, there was a time when Asian Pacific Islanders were invisible on Capitol Hill, when we were so rare that if you saw an Asian Pacific Islander walking down the hallway, you just had to turn and look. It was so unusual. <laughs> but that all changed when Norm Mineta came to Capitol Hill. And as chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific Caucus, I am so grateful because I believe that I would not be here as a member of Congress had Norm Mineta not paved the way for us. And he paved the way for us despite the fact that he was a victim of one of the most discriminatory acts in our nation's history since his family was relocated to Heart Mountain uh, in Wyoming, along with 120,000 other people of Japanese ancestry. But perhaps I should say that he paved the way because of this discriminatory act. He knew that it was so important to be visible in public service so that such a thing would not happen again. And so began his incredible career on the San Jose City Council, uh, as San Jose mayor, but then 20 years as a member of the House of Representatives in Congress. He accomplished so many great things, including the uh, official apology and redress for that injustice committed against Japanese Americans. But what I am so grateful for is the fact that 24 years ago, he was the one that had the vision to found the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus. You see, we would not have gotten the respect that was due us had we not coalesced as members of Congress on Capitol Hill. I can tell you for sure, the White House wouldn't pay attention to us, the Speaker wouldn't pay, pay attention to us, nor would the Senate leader. But he was the one that decided that that was important. Today, we now have 18 members of Congress that are Asian Pacific Islander. And he also founded Asian Pacific American Heritage Week, which has now become a month, which we celebrate every year, and in fact is bigger and better than ever. And he gained the respect in Washington, D.C. that was so necessary, becoming a secretary of a cabinet, not once, but, but twice, and not only a Dem under a Democratic administration, but a Republican administration. He gained such tremendous respect for all his accomplishments, and it's no wonder, because not only is he a very competent and capable person, but he is still to this day one of the most gracious persons that I've ever known. He is so personable, so accessible, that he is truly a role model for all of us. So I can say that it is Normanetta that paved the way for the rest of us that came to follow him in Washington, D.C. He laid the groundwork for all of us. No wonder he was awarded the highest honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. But what I will truly respect is that he showed that Asian Americans could not only be great leaders, but they could be great leaders for all of America. 
and he never lost sight of the fact that he was fighting for people like him who have had to face grave discrimination in this country, that we could all rise above it and succeed in this country. Thanks to his dedication, we can all stand here and enjoy the liberties that we have. So thank you, Norm Manetta, for everything that you've done for us and for